My mother was the first in her family to come to the U.S. from Nicaragua. She was a single mom, living paycheck to paycheck. The neighborhoods we lived in were on the border of poverty, just not a lot of opportunity if you don't create it for yourself. I did well in school despite the challenges. <clears throat> so I feel that I did my part. Um, the hard work was put in. I was just waiting for the opportunity. And quite frankly, the opportunity was uh, a Berkeley scholarship. My connection to Wilmer Fong begins back in my Cal days. Wilmer was very active in Berkeley scholarship programs. He, I believe, was also a selection committee member for the Berkeley scholarship I received. Well, I can trip from the very beginning when the program got started. That fund is a full scholarship and Jerry won the recipient. As I left Cal, went on to med school, I lost connection with Wilmer. I came back to San Francisco for my dream job. I work at Kaiser San Francisco. I'm a cardiologist, and that's where Wilmer and I reconnected. I told my primary doctor I want to change my cardiologist. He said, oh, you can do that. Here's a list. I looked and said, this name is familiar. Jerry Ariano. Hey, what a small word. So I got an appointment. I got to see him. Here I have a very serious illness. I might die. Then here, in return, somebody's saving me. I mean, <laughs> he's saving my life. As his care provider, my goal has been to allow Wilmer to live the life that he wants, to partake in the activities that he continues to enjoy. My father did a lot of that community work and all that, and he drummed it into us kids, always giving back. And so I believe in that firmly, and if I can contribute to, to the school in terms of scholarship or uh, all that, well, I'm willing to do it. It's people like Wilmer Fong who have led me to contribute and donate to scholarships that I believe in.